The anti-constitutional U.S. government is using so many mechanisms to try to uh, prevent really anybody possible that they can prevent from uh, exercising their constitutional right of the Second Amendment. Uh, give an example. Uh, you know, in New York, they check your social media. Uh, they they can pull your guns based off of how you check on your social media or deny you permits. I mean, um, you know, now what we're looking at is we're looking at the Supreme Court has taken up a case that ultimately is saying, you know, somebody who is not a violent felon cannot lose their guns. Uh, you know, and, and that's really what this is all about. It's in the face of red flag laws. You know, red flag laws aren't at the base of this case, but red flag laws are at the base of this case. And red flag laws will be transformed because of this, because now what we're seeing is most Americans who are losing their guns right now, they're losing them without due process. Uh, they're losing it without some sort of a trial and a chance to prove their innocence or guilt or whatever that case may be. Um, this is something, it has to come to an end. And in the end, it's really this Supreme Court case and we'll get the outcome by July of 2024. Uh, but this case, you know, it's not just about what it's about. This case is about everybody who has not been convicted of a violent felony who does not have their firearms and has been denied the ability to acquire firearms or get a permit or to carry or whatever the case may be. That has to come to an end because there are so many people who have not been convicted of a violent felony in this country who are being denied of their rights to carry. And this is right in the crosshairs of the Supreme Court. This is going to come to an abrupt end in July, I believe, because if you look at how uh, the conservative judges have voted in the past based on this exact type of scenario, um, before they were Supreme Court judges even, uh, you got to look at their past. And I do believe that this case is going to go the way of the Second Amendment. And it's going to open up doors for people who are right now being prevented um, of their Second Amendment rights. And they've never even been convicted of a felony. This is ridiculous. Um, and it's going to come to an abrupt end is what I believe is going to happen. Uh, they're going to meet on this in November. And then they're going to decide on it in July. And I think this is going to transform the Second Amendment. The Supreme Court has got this anti-constitutional, anti-Second Amendment effort in their crosshairs. And it's a good thing. Any thoughts or insight on that, definitely put that below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. If you feel called to support this channel with Patreon, the link is also below. But the most important part of this channel, we take prayer requests. So never hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns. Thank you.